Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, followed by the bell. So Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro launching date is fast approaching and more leaks and new looks continue to showcase. So when Google released the Pixel 5 last September, abandoning the XL model in favor of selling a more affordable base model. Now, the XL is rumored to be making a return as the Pixel 6 Pro. The Pixel 6 Pro is expected to launch alongside the standard Pixel 6 later this year. There's been debate over the name of the larger handset with John Prosser insisting that the phone, codenamed Raven, will take the Pro title instead of returning to its past XL moniker. However, XDA developers has since spotted the Pixel 6 XL in a Google developer form for Android 12s game mode feature. While this could be a mistake, it could also be a sign that Google will name the phone the Pixel 6 XL, a standard and pro variant. We've seen the design, heard the top-level specs, know some of the new internals, and are continuing to learn more about its Android 12 software, but every now and then, we learn bits and pieces about the device thanks to Google themselves. Google unveiled new tools for Android game developers, the most important of which is Google Play's new Play As You Download feature for Android 12 devices. Another new feature exclusive to select Android 12 devices is the Game Dashboard, an overlay that provides access to key utilities and lets the user change the game's performance profile through new game mode APIs. While Google hasn't officially confirmed a launch date for the Pixel 6 line, we'd expect it to arrive in September or October 2021. Historically, the Pixel has launched in October, with last year's Pixel 5 arriving even earlier on September 30th, so it would make sense that the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro follow this timeline. Pricing is less clear the Pixel 5 marked a more affordable turn for Google at just $699. It's possible that Google could stick to this price with its base Pixel 6 and charge more for the Pro model. The Pixel 4 XL cost $899 to the 4S $799, so we might see a similar $100 increase for the 6 Pro. Please subscribe to Mr. New Mobile channel. So with respect to the renders shared by OnLeaks, the Pixel 6 Pro will feature a 6.67-inch curved display and look visually similar to what we've seen of the Pixel 6 so far. Like the renders of the Pixel 6 previously shared by John Prosser the renders of the 6 Pro showcase a phone with a three-tone design in white, black, and orange. Like the 6, the 6 Pro is also expected to see its bezels slimmed down for 2021, and will include a punch hole camera and possibly an in-screen fingerprint sensor in the display. The Pixel 6 Pro has dimensions of 163.9 x 75.8 x 8.9 mm and has an 11.5 mm thickness, if you include the camera bump. It includes dual stereo speakers and supports wireless charging. The SIM slot could be moved to the left of the phone. The front page tech leak also suggests there will be other color options for the base model that we may see on the Pro, including a champagne tone. One major change expected to be coming to the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro this year is a new chipset more specifically, the launch of Google's own Whitechapel SoC. The 6 Pro will be one of the first phones to feature the GS1010 Whitechapel chip. Google is rumored to be developing the Whitechapel platform to allow it to replace Qualcomm Snapdragon chips in its Pixel phones and Chromebooks. The chips are reportedly being co-developed in partnership with Samsung, which has its own Snapdragon rival for Galaxy phones, Exynos. Prosser expects the 6 Pro to pack a Google-made chip and goes into further detail when it comes to the specs inside the 6 and the 6 Pro. The list includes a 5,000 mAh battery, 12GB of RAM, and 128GB, 256GB, 512GB of storage. For comparison's sake, the regular 6 is expected to include a 4,614 mAh battery, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB, 256GB of storage. First, in code that handles where the front-facing camera is located in relation to your screen, we find that the Pixel 6s selfie camera should be located 540 pixels from the left edge. 
Meanwhile, the Pixel 6 Pro or Pixel 6 XL, depending on who you ask will have its front camera placed 722 pixels from the left. If we assume that these selfie cameras will be placed at the center of the phone, we can speculate that the Pixel 6s resolution should be 1080p, while the Pixel 6 Pro should have a resolution just over 1440p. Another tidbit we discovered about the Pixel 6 series is that it will offer up to 7x zoom while recording videos, even while recording at 60 frames per second. For comparison, last year's Pixel 5 only offers up to 5x zoom while recording videos. Well as per the current features Google Pixel 6 Pro is superb, guys let me know your thought in the comment below, and please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.